Space Missileite is back with Prisoner of War. We're being transferred to Cold It because we escaped. But the second time, got caught again. And they basically are sending us to one of the worst places you can be. In this time. So here we go. We are now entering a very difficult and very annoying part of the game. Finally, I know what I'm doing. But when you first enter here, I kid you not, it's really hard to tell what's what. Like I said, this episode is going to be me chatting to the other prisoners. I'm waiting until the afternoon free time where I can then um, save the game. Here we are in Colditz. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Lieutenant, when we searched the prisoner, we found a few items, mainly a few pieces of contraband and some personal papers which were stitched to his trousers. What sort of papers? Just some drawings of, I think, a space rocket. Perhaps our American captain dreams of becoming a spaceman. Should we sign the items over to Colditz? Burn them. We will spare ourselves the paperwork. Well, that's going to be a problem. We're going to, we're going to lose the items we need. Thanks, boys. You'll understand if I don't give you a tip. They are so bad. So we're at the barracks. Anybody home? And here we are. Welcome. The Colditz guards have no manners, so you must forgive me introducing myself. Yes. Lord Captain Henri Dubois, the barrack officer at Colditz. Enchanté, I'm sure. My name's Stone. And I'm Major William Kingsley, escape officer. Okay. Although that's very much an honorary title here in the castle. It's a pretty tight ship. Tricky place to slip out of. Oh, really? That's what they said about Starlog Luft. Yeah, we got out of there. Ah, you have already been involved in an escape. Then you are lucky you have not found yourself among the unluckier inmates of Colditz. Oh? Some of the chaps here are confined to a separate set of barracks known as Prisoner Barracks B. Only time we ever see them is during meal times, roll call, and exercise. Oh. I don't suppose one of them is a stiff named Harding. Ah, oh, remember oh, him? A friend of yours. The one who tried to get the papers I first. Exactly, but I need to talk to him. It's kind of urgent. Oh, won't be easy. Jerry's taken a particular dislike to Harding for some reason and put him under 24 hour watch. Yeah, he's got a guard he's following him everywhere. By his own personal guard. We haven't been able to get near him. Measure. Given that the escape committee has at the moment rather a lot of spare time, perhaps we could offer our help to Captain Stone. I do hope so. Why not? Feel free to look us up if you need a hand, Captain. And meanwhile, the best of luck to you. Why, thank you. So here we are. Oh dear. I am warning you, Schliemann. If prisoner Harding causes any more trouble on your watch, I will hold you personally responsible. I am sure you are aware just how cold it is on the Russian front at this time of year. Yep. I will not let him out of my sight, Herr Commandant. He's the one who's going to get in the way of what we're trying to do. So here we are at roll call. Excellent. I see I have trained the guards well. Uh, so he says. So then, welcome to Cold It's. It's breakfast. Now, what we need to do before we do anything else. First, this guard is going to, you know, the one is looking... Where do you go? Ah, there you are, matey. Right, we will go... Into the kitchen. 
Well, I'll be very careful here. I want to grab a few things. Do I need some odds and ends for this? This is what I want! The brass key. So we got that. Got some currency, which is going to be very handy. Now let us go back into here. That was close. Okay. We got the iron key. Let's do some chatting. Hello, Captain. I heard all about your flight from Starlog Luft. And that look in your eyes suggests you don't intend cold it's to hold you for long. Oh, yes. I'm Winters, but the other guys call me Doc. They reckon I've become something of a specialist on cold it's. I need to talk to Harding, Doc. Any ideas? That won't be easy, considering the Colonel's new best friend. Your best bet would be to try to get into the Colonel's barracks while he's absent and lie in wait. You may be able to find a route up through the library to Prisoner Barrack B, where you'll find his room. Prisoner Barrack B? Where's that? Opposite ours. That's where the Colonel is being held. It's across the courtyard from our own barracks. Yep. Where's the library? A couple of doors down from your barracks, my friend. But since our host discovered the prisoners were using it to reach other parts of the castle, they've kept it locked. Locked? So how do I get in? <laughs> now that, I don't know. But Private Kapowski is undertaking an extensive study of the castle's security. You could ask him. Uh, hang on a sec. Got this problem again. Again. Huh. This is a bit annoying. Okay, got it. That should do. How come the crowds have everyone split into two barracks? The Commandant believes that by separating supposed troublemakers from the rest of the prisoners, he'll reduce the chances of escape attempts. Be warned, the guards know exactly who should be in Barracks B and who should not. Trespassers are not smiled upon. Okay. How come Harding's in there? Perhaps you can tell me the answer to that, my friend. The Commandant threw him straight in there as soon as he arrived, so I assume he must have annoyed someone pretty high up in the German command. Yeah. And they split up the courtyard? Merely to annoy us, I suspect. They only let us into the west side of the courtyard during the exercise periods. The rest of the time, we have to stay in the east side. Otherwise, <laughs> the cooler beckons. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've done that. Let's talk to this guy. I'm Johnson, Captain. I'm guessing that when they brought you in here, the crowds didn't leave you with much more than your jacket and your smile. So if there's anything in particular you need, you come and try me. Sometimes I amaze myself with what I can get my hands on. Why? Well, like some black I'll boot polish? Hiding place, Captain. Shave you getting caught with it. How about something else? Now that'll do me just fine. I'll leave it for now, thanks. Fair enough, Captain. Just come and see me if you change your mind. Right. Uh, let's see. Who else we got here? How you doing, sir? I'm Baratti. Have you seen the nurse in this place? She's one tasty lady. Oh uh, boy, I'm not even Excuse gonna you. bother. I don't need to worry about the help. Hey, Cap. I'm Kapowski. They've always kept this place locked down pretty tight, but well, things have gotten tighter recently. I'll give them the slip eventually, though. Ever got across to prisoner barrack B, Kapowski? Well. I did try sneaking across the courtyard once, but would you believe it? They spotted my footprints in the snow. Stick to the well-trodden paths, Cap, or try an alternative route, such as the library. You made it into the library? Sure I have. Well, nearly. I almost picked a lock the other day, but I got spotted by the guard in the hallway. He confiscated my lockpick and threw me in the cooler. The doc tells me he keeps it on his desk to taunt the other prisoners. Okay, but I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, made it myself and it worked a treat. If you ever manage to get hold of the thing, make sure you've got plenty of time to use it before any guards show up. Lock picking doors takes a while. So what tricks have you got? I've got to admit, with his big shot general they say is on his way, the crowds have closed down most of my routes. You might want to talk to Worthington. Says he knows some kind of secret passage or something in the theater. Okay. 
Right, there are the two there. We don't need to talk to anyone else there. Let's see, who have we got over here? Nice to meet you. The name's Tony Capone. I hear you came from Starlog Luft. Did you run into a hood named Mickey Malone? Fastest hand on the East Coast, I'll bet he told you. But that bum don't know nothing I didn't teach him. So if you want a real game, come and see me. I'll try to remember that. Oh, boy. He's a con man. Try my card game. Come and see me during afternoon free time. I'll speak to you later. Yeah, we'll see you never. I'm Williams. You broke out of Stalag Luft, right? Thought so. But Stalag Luft's a paper bag compared to Colden's. I'll speak to you later. Don't need to worry about him. I'm so terribly glad to meet you, sir. My name's Worthington. If you'll forgive me, I really must congratulate you on your escape from Stalag Luft. Awfully daring if I'm to believe the rumors I've picked up from the other chaps. Pity it all had to end like this, really. Yes. Any idea where Harding's barracks are, Worthington? The Colonel, sir. He's being detained in a room next to prisoner barrack B. But I doubt you'll be able to talk to him, sir. Jerry's not taking his eyes off Harding, and you'll be in all manner of trouble if you're spotted trying to get in there. Oh, really? Keeping such close tabs on him. I've been trying to find out, sir, but without much luck so far. I'd hazard he's rubbed some top brass up the wrong way somewhere along the line. Say I wanted to get into Barrack B. What would you suggest? Hmm. Well, I did overhear one of the chaps describing a trapdoor about Barrack B, sir. There's no way to get up to it, apparently. But I assume if you could find where it leads from, that might be your way in. I'll speak to you later. Yep, that's gonna be useful, because we're gonna need that. Talk to this guy now. Ah, oh, a new face. No, don't tell me, sir. You're a pilot. Either that, or you bashed one over the head and swiped his jacket. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry, sir. I'm rambling, aren't I? Anyway, if you get some spare time, come and try my little stone throwing game. Oh, you he's a stone thrower. I may very well do that. Never. Then, sir. Best to grab me during morning exercise or afternoon free time. Okay. I'll speak to you later. So that's him sorted. Last one now. Hi, Logan's the name. You're stone, right? If they put you in coldness, I guess it's because you bust out of someplace else. Well, you might have trouble pulling the same stunt here. I'll speak to you later. Okay, so we've now spoken to we can't. I'm not even going to bother talking to Harding because the guard's there to stop us. So what we want to do now, and I hate to say this, we just going to have to roam about doing who knows what, doing who knows whatever, until we are able to get to afternoon free time. So, for the rest of the episode, pretty much doing nothing more than just waiting. Because I do not want to get involved with this, what I have to do. I don't want to do the whole thing of getting over into Harding's area until I've saved. The save point should be available around 2 o'clock. You might notice we got quite a bit of time, haven't we? Yes, this is what... Oh, hang on. Now I remember. I need these. I need rocks. So, yep, this is called it. So look at this blooming place. Jeez. Now, what that what we've been told is in fact see this door here? That's the theater. That's where we want to get into. Now you might hear them say to go there via the library, which is in the place we, in our own barracks. I have to say, that is a really difficult thing to pull off. I'll be honest with you, it's really hard to do that. I found the easier way, get the iron key, which I got, no, the brass key, which I got for the kitchen, then directly go into the theatre via that door. Which we're going to be doing next episode, clearly. How's that? 
all this time? Here we go. Prisoner Mess Hall again. Uh, this is the sort of time where things get really boring at this time. And the thing is, we might have to do this quite a bit. There might be quite a lot of waiting in these sections. Due to the fact... We can't do it. We can't actually go into our barracks. At this time. And even if we can get into them at this time... The save point is unavailable. Until afternoon free time. Which will be coming up in the next time bit, so we just gotta wait until then. But the good news is we've got the iron key. Oh, I keep saying that. The brass key. But all we gotta do is wait. Just wait. How utterly, utterly annoying. Oh, okay, very good. It is now afternoon free time. Yes, this is what we want. So now we can go in here, go into our barracks. Just look at near a sec. There's the boot polish, correct, very good. So we are now going to go here and ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this episode. We have spoken to everyone in the camp. Next time, our first mission to sneak into Harding's room and meet up with him. So, ladies and gentlemen, see you guys next time where we do just that. See you then.